All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we talk about Kendrick Lamar and his pop-up Kenny and Friends concert that happened on Juneteenth. That was yesterday, actually. Um, Yeah, so we're going to get into that, man, and give our thoughts on it. So look, if you want to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button, man. If you want to like the channel, hit the like button, man. Push this join up. Go over to Sketchpad Reactions. We're trying to get that channel monetized, so please go over there and do that. And if you want us to react to your stuff, link's on the screen. Look, I'm just going to be straight. It's over for Drake, bro. It's over, bro. It's over. This is bad. And I know a lot of people giving Drake the benefit of doubt. This is bad. I'm going to explain something to y'all. Usually, beefs or diss tracks or propaganda or narratives only run on for like at least two weeks. 14 days is probably the maximum. This record has been out for a month or so. And it's not stopping. It's 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 still going on. I don't see how Drake can recover from this. I just don't. I don't see how he can making a hit is not going to work anymore because you have to make something better than that. And you have to do it by yourself. You can't do it with somebody else. You can't do it with, with, with 21. You can't do it with anybody else. Then on top of that, you unfollowed LeBron James, right? I know people are probably saying, why does that matter? That's a big deal because LeBron James is one of your biggest supporters. But you got mad at LeBron because he was at the concert and you unfollowed him. So he unfollowed you. I'm predicting right now Probably the next, I would say next year or so, a lot of rappers, a lot of celebrities is not going to follow Drake. A lot of people are just not going to mess with him no more. Because, and I hate to say this, he's really not of the culture. He don't know how to handle shit like this. Mm. Because he wasn't raised in the culture. And I, I, I know that's going to make a lot of people upset to hear. But Drake is not black. He's a mixed kid who has black in him. But he's not a nigga. He wasn't raised that way. He only knows his Jewish side when it comes to combating things. He doesn't know about beef. He let people write his stories for him. That's just that. He doesn't understand how it is to be beefing with somebody who is a part of the culture. You in the culture, of course Drake's in the culture, but he's not a part of the culture. He's in it. And he moved around through it. But what I mean by a part, I ain't talking like being in it and being a part. Everybody knows. If you're smart, you know exactly what I'm talking about. What I mean by he is not a part of it because he wasn't raised by it. He don't know what it's like to use blue magic. 
You don't know what it's like to get your feet and hands whipped. You don't know what it's like to rub dirt on cuts and say God make dirt and dirt don't hurt. He don't know. He don't know what kick the can is. He don't know what hot peas and butter is. He don't know. Manhunt. Catch a girl, get a girl. He don't know about none of that. He don't know about knock the mama off the toilet. <laughs> he know throw mama from the train. <laughs> but not knock mama off the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> he don't know about it. Right. So this is the reason why this concert was important. And on top of that, and I'm going to let you go. Kendrick Lamar brought together all the gangs in L.A. on one stage. Do you know how important that is? Everybody, all the gangs was in the building together. That just lets you know that mm. all that shit don't mean nothing. We still humans. We all brothers and sisters. That's what people got to get. All that don't mean nothing. At the end of the day, you my brother and you my sister. That's how it goes. But I'll let you go. Yeah, speaking of the whole gang thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, It just shows you how much how much reach he got. This dude is a powerful, the powerful uh individual. It show you how much reach he got. You know what I mean? And it and it show also shows you that he's the new king of LA. He's the new king of the West Coast. You know what I mean? It just shows you that. If he's able to do something like that, it just shows you, hands down, that's that's who he is. You know, um for me personally. I don't think Drake's career is fully over, but I feel like it's over. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like he's still going to be able to make music. I feel like he's still going to be able to do certain things. He's still, believe it or not, people, there's still going to be people out there that's going to want to work with him. Maybe not who, the Who's upper there to work with him? Tell me who. Bro. Tell me who. Tell me what be, rapper. Uh, tell me what rapper during this whole beef. There's no. Has tried to work with Drake. I'm not talking about doing the beef. I'm talking about something in Drake is still the biggest rapper like in the world, bro. Right? No, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me uh let me articulate my thoughts and I'm gonna explain. Drake is still gonna be able to probably work with a few people. Maybe not the people that we familiarize ourselves with, you know what I'm saying? But there's gonna be people out there that's gonna work with him. Because there's always going to be an inspiring artist who's going to come up, who's the next hot thing that is going to want to get a feature from Drake. You know what I'm saying? And whatever creative space or however the label delegated, they're going to put it together. So that's what I mean. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not the people that we like, but I'm telling you, there's going to be an up and coming artist that's probably going to get on a track with Drake. And it's going to be a, 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 a influx of new artists that's probably going to work with Drake. You know what I'm saying? Because they feel like getting that one Drake record can set them off. If it still has the same type of power that it normally would have, which we don't know because we ain't heard him in too many features yet besides the sexy red thing, which was, eh, you know what I mean? But I think that's what I think for me that I think that's what's going to probably most likely happen. Like he's going to get one of those type of deals. You ain't we ain't going to see him on there with no with nobody that's in the top tier of rapping or whatever. But we're going to see we're going to see some of the up and comers. They're going to be the ones that's going to be working with him. That's what I think is going to happen. And he's going to be all open for it because is going to put him back in some sort of space as far as create creative wise, you know, 
But you but but you right though. He don't he he don't know about those things. He don't know about none of that. You know what I mean? He wasn't raised around a culture enough to really understand what those things are. But this is the gripe that I have with that though. Why engage with Kendrick if you know already you don't know nothing about that lifestyle? Why do it? Why do it? You just committed career suicide. Why do it? You know what I'm saying? If I don't know nothing about nothing, why am I going to go jump in and go rock with this guy knowing that the slightest thing that could be said could finish me off? Why, is that, why is that a engage? question you're asking me? I can tell you. Yeah, yeah. Why, why did he engage if he knows already? If, 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 if that's the case, why engage? Well, there's a bunch of different reasons why he did that. Number one, he underestimated Kendrick. That's just that's just a hundred percent. He underestimated him. Number two, Drake is a narcissistic dude. He thinks he's the greatest ever. He thinks he's better than Michael Jackson, or at least on that level. In his head, yeah. no one's better than him. So when people got to understand this, right? Kendrick, Drake, and J. Cole of this time, then you got Kanye West and you got Rick Ross. Those are the top five of this generation. Those dudes, you can't go wrong either way, right? But see, Drake thinks he's way above them. Okay, you might, except for Kanye West. I believe Kanye West sold more records than Drake. And he has more awards than Drake. Either one of these dudes, they have, they have a certain thing about them, a certain mystique, right? But see, Drake thinks he's the total package because... He has an army full of people who who puts him on a pedestal as if he's the greatest thing since pants with pockets. Like for real. That's how they treat him. Look at all the look at all the so go on Facebook and look at all the social groups that are Drake bots. And they just go off. Oh, Drake dropping a new album. Oh, he has a new song. They make him feel like he's untouchable. And in his head, he feels like he's untouchable. But see, when you step to a guy like Kendrick Lamar, I'm not saying that Drake don't know that Kendrick is super talented. But I do believe that Drake don't understand the power of California. California, California is like its own own America. Like, people got to understand this. It's 33 million people, I believe. It might be more than that. But I believe it's about 33 million people in Cal. Hey, Siri, how many people are in California? As of 2020, the population of California was 39,538,223. It's almost 40 million people in California. Mm. That alone can get you a platinum record. All you need is 1 million of yeah. that. And I'm sure in LA County, they got that about that. You know what I'm saying? So people don't understand. Right. They stick together much more than a lot of these states. You know what I'm saying? California is like its own America. So when you say, why didn't he know? Because he was a, he's a Jewish boy who wasn't taught about engagement in combat. He know about rap battles because he watched rap battles. And you see the rap battle community backing him like a bunch of fucking bitches. The same rap community always talking about how people are stealing our culture. But they back in Drake. Who's stealing their culture. <laughs> I don't understand it. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't understand engagement. He thinks by he could just say whatever he thinks and people going to roll with it. 
but you ran into basically he ran into a brick wall and he don't know what to do he people are people are trying to feel sympathetic for him like oh oh well these people are ganging up on him no he took a l wasn't nobody gang, nobody's ganging up on him you have people dissing him but kendrick lamar was the only one that really said his name and dissed him and went a hundred percent it wasn't no way around it they engaged mm -hmm. they dropped this song after this song this track after this track and he got the best of him he lost that's it but yeah that's the reason why because he thinks he's better than what he really is he hasn't been drake hasn't been good for at least a decade and i think a lot of people don't want to admit that because he has so many hits <coughs> excuse me he has so many hits that people don't want to admit that he fell off because they're going off his hits like oh he got a hit like first person shooter right that album went platinum so the album went platinum but it's always a reversible thing. You have some artists who start out and they don't go platinum and they don't really do as well until the end of their career. Then you have artists who do very well at the beginning of their career and they fall off. This is the reverse thing when it comes to Drake. Drake has, I believe, more than 10 albums. Kendrick only has five. Kendrick has sold 8 million records altogether, about almost 9 million, right? Drake mm -hmm. has sold 33 mm -hmm. million records. Mm -hmm. But Drake has twice as many albums as Kendrick. So imagine if Kendrick Lamar had just as many albums as Drake. He would at least be, at least be half of that. He would at least be at least 15 million records if he had as many records as Drake. You know what I'm saying? But if you right. if you have a certain fan base and you own this fan base and the fan base basically supports you no matter what you do. And every time you drop something new, they run out to stream it. What do you think you're going to? Of course you're going to have all these millions of records sold but there's artists that had that sold more than him Eminem is one of them so I don't understand the whole gripe behind that but like I said he's not war ready so that's the reason why he's where he's at today and I don't think he's gonna make it I, I, I get what you're saying he might get some young boy or whatever but Drake's the star and if the star is not shining it don't matter who you put on a record. It's not going to make a difference. And I think at this point, he ain't dropping nothing serious because Not Like Us is running. It still has legs and it's running. It just went right back to number one. So it's running. This might be. And, they're, and I'm hearing they're doing a remix and they're doing a video tomorrow on Saturday. I've heard they're doing a video on Saturday. So if they're doing a video on Saturday, mm. right? And if they do a remix, mm. the song goes back to number one because we haven't really heard no remixes in such a long time. So now mm -hmm. this is something new. So if you do a remix and it's crazy, you do a remix, that's going to reignite the song again. And then on top of that, we still don't know what else Kendrick has. You know what I'm saying? So this is something. This is listen, bro. I know niggas don't want to admit this, but this is the biggest body in hip hop history, bro. The yeah, biggest body ever. There's nobody a, a body bigger than this. This is the biggest body by far. This is the biggest L that anyone has ever taken. The biggest L. But this is what it is, man. So, all right. Well, hey, man, we out of here, man. Sketch pass. See y'all. Peace. Bye, man. Good night, everybody.